everyone, my name's Daniel and if you are into 360 cameras then I am your guy. Today I'm going to be comparing the MeSphere with the Insta360 One. Now these two cameras have been out for quite a while actually, but the reason I'm comparing them now is because they've both received quite uh, significant updates. The MeSphere can now shoot in 4K resolution, whereas before it could just use in 3.5K, and the Insta360 One has had a big stabilization upgrade. So here are the two cameras, here's two video shot with both cameras, um, as you can see opposite the London Eye. I think the dynamic range is a lot more impressive in the MeSphere, whereas the Insta360 One kind of overexposes the video quite a lot, so um, I'm, I can definitely see a difference in the MeSphere between the 3.5K and the 4K, uh, the upgrade has improved the video quality quite a bit. Now this is just the Insta360 One, um, and as you can see, yeah, you can see how it kind of overexposes the light, the sun, it doesn't really do all the sun very well. And the MeSphere is a lot better with uh, the exposure, so the sun isn't as bright and as, uh, you know, overexposing the whole, the whole image, and the blue sky is a lot more realistic. So yeah, here's the two um, images again, the two videos again, pointing at the same location. The uh, overexposure is a lot more apparent on the Insta360 One. This is a problem with a lot of 360 cameras, I can't deal with the sun. But the MeSphere handles it pretty well, and I'm kind of liking the MeSphere video more. Right, here's a test of the stabilization. As I said, the stabilization for the Insta360 One received quite a big upgrade recently. So um, here we can see, if you just look around, you'll see if it's shaking, if the horizon is steady. They both do a pretty good job, actually. Both of them stabilize video reasonably well. Uh, the Insta360 One, I think, since the upgrade, is doing slightly better, slightly better. There's less um, jolts and bumps. I mean, it seems to be uh, mostly directed at the top where it kind of shakes, whereas the MeSphere kind of shakes at the bottom of the video which is weird. So here's another view looking at a slightly different direction. As you can see, the stabilization is pretty much similar between the two cameras. There's not much between them. Uh, what I will say is that the Insta360 One, since the last update, the stabilization has improved massively, which is awesome. It really improves the camera and uh, yeah, makes it a lot better than it was before. However, I should point out that you need to use the phone app really to get the best stabilization. Here you can see uh, the same video shot with the Insta360 One, rendered with the PC uh, desktop app and with the phone app. And for some reason, if you use your phone to stitch and render the video, it comes out a lot more stable, the stabilization works a lot better, whereas if you do it with the desktop software, it doesn't work as well. Annoyingly, if you use a desktop software, the quality is slightly better, but it doesn't make much difference. Okay, here are some photos. Well, here is a photo, a uh, photo comparison. This is taken with the MeSphere, which is probably the best photo camera for 360 out there now, but without spending, you know, a lot of money. And this is a picture taken with the Insta360 One in roughly the same location, and you can obviously tell the difference. It's not quite as good, is it? It's not as good a photo camera, but it will do. I mean, it's still um, okay. Here are the photos side by side, and it's pretty much obvious that the MeSphere is the superior photo camera. But what I will say about both cameras is that they can both shoot in RAW, and that can make a huge difference. If you shoot in RAW and then put your photos into uh, Photoshop or Lightroom, you can make a huge difference. Here is what happens when I messed around with the uh, Insta360 One in Lightroom, the photo from the Insta360 One, and I just adjusted the color and light balance, and um, this was only possible by shooting in RAW and by changing the quality completely. You can do this with both cameras though, so really it doesn't make the Insta360 One any better because you can do the same thing with the MeSphere. If I had to choose one, then I would probably choose the MeSphere just because the dynamic range is slightly better. It can now shoot in 4K and uh, the stabilization is almost as good. And to top it all off, it's also cheaper. So that's probably why I would buy the MeSphere, but the Insta360 One is also an awesome camera. And it has some other features that the uh, MeSphere doesn't have, like it has a free capture mode, um, it can follow an object and, um, you know, it's just some video modes that the MeSphere doesn't have. So I've done reviews of both these cameras, so take a look and decide for yourself. Um, there'll be links in the description. Hope this has been useful. Uh, my name's Dan and I will see you around. Bye-bye.